Today we are excited to welcome someone who isn't afraid of change and who has mastered some of our favorite desserts. Dana Paula is here to talk about multitasking and how she established one of the fastest growing businesses in the country. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much for the big warm welcome. Dana, thank you for having me. It's so great to have you here. It's nice to be here, thank you. Before we get into this beautiful presentation over here, um, you know, I, want, I want to actually just have you tell all of us about why Dana's Bakery is so unique because you are not a typical bakery. We are not your ordinary bakery, <laughs> you are correct. I think what really sets us apart is we like to think outside the box. We take a traditional dessert and put a fun American spin on it. From the macaroons, which you started with, to our new product lines, cookies, mookies, black and white cookies, nothing is done um, the norm. It's all, it all has our fun little spin on it, and um, I think that's really what sets us apart from everybody else. What's a mookie? <laughs> a mookie <laughs> is a macaroon baked inside a cookie. So it's a cookie with an M. Okay. Yeah. So I, I want to talk to you about the macaroon. Have you ever heard yes. macaroon? Macaroon? Right. The macaroons my mom used to make at Christmas time were these big coconut clusters with right. like a half green and a half cherry out of an okay. odd little sure. plastic can. Or Actually. the coconut macaroon at Passover. Yeah. Right? Sometimes yeah. dipped in chocolate. Totally different. Okay. I don't speak French. I'm from Jersey. So I say <laughs> macaroon, not macaroon. I, uh, okay. But um, you spell it with one O. And okay. it's basically. Um, Two shells made out of almond flour and um, confectionery sugar, mm -hmm. and it makes the macaron, and then we mix we, it with filling in the middle. And so now the mookie yes. has one of these yes. baked inside. Right, it's like a, a double a, cookie. It's a double cookie. It's so double you are cookie. putting a very unique spin exactly. on this classic dessert. Exactly. I feel, would it be okay if I tried one? Of course. These are absolutely beautiful. I would think it'd be weird if you didn't. Because I, I eat might, dessert I try first. All of them, to be honest. Even before dinner, I do dessert first. It's always been my thing. These are good key lime pie. Thank you. Oh. And they taste just like what they're supposed to taste like. So I think that that's mm -hmm. something that you think is going to happen, but it doesn't always yeah. happen. So I'm really proud of that. And I'm going to take the birthday cake one. Oh. Cheers. 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 What, what, what goes into creating a recipe? Because I know that when you want people to walk in right. and see something that is colorful and beautiful, mm -hmm. like how, how do you conceptualize all of this? So we're primarily an online bakery. Mm -hmm. um, I started online um, before having a storefront. So for me, being, an old, uh, being a photo editor, I used to be a photo editor, it was all about aesthetics. So I think that it needs to look good in order to get people to buy it. Mm -hmm. And it tastes good, then they'll come back, they'll buy more, they'll get it for their friends, and that's how the word spreads. I want to step back to something you said a second ago. You were a photo editor. Right. And so I imagine you um, have this skill and this gift around visual beauty. Right. And so when you talk about the, the beauty of that macaroon mm -hmm. and wanting to create that, I, I see that kind of in your background, and that makes right. sense, but the jump from photo editor to baking mm -hmm. is such a wide step. And I'm wondering if you might tell us a little bit about how, sure. how you got there and why. Sure, so it's definitely not parallel, but I always say that you can always apply what you learned in the past, mm -hmm. or your past job, or your past experience, yeah. and you can, help, you can help yourself with what you're applying it to today. I always loved baking. Um, I would always bake to relieve stress, or mm -hmm. I would bake for people. Mm -hmm. I loved to entertain. It had always been a passion of mine, but I had really never thought about doing it for a living. And then that's when my light bulb went off and I said, what if I turn this into something? And I didn't know what it was going to be, but I knew that if I was going to quit my job at 30 and switch careers, I should probably get formal training in something that I'm passionate about. So I, um, all within two weeks time, quit my job, enrolled in ICE, Institute of Culinary Education, in their baking and pastry arts program. And I started, I started school not too, not too oh long after. God. Yeah. With all of this going on, yes. you have a family at home. I do. 
And I want to hear about how you yeah. maintain that balance between running a successful bakery that you have, you. you have 35 to 40 employees, yeah. right? Yeah. It is a lot, yeah. but I love what I do and you have yeah. to be passionate, so I think that that definitely helps. But I think that being a mother, um, now with another one on the way. Congratulations. Um, thank you. But being a mother has actually helped me in business because before I didn't necessarily feel the urge to um, make the most of my time. I always yeah. wanted to make the most of my time, but I didn't really realize what that meant until I had my daughter and time became so much more valuable. So I think that it's really helped me be a lean and mean um, business machine, I, I guess you would say. <laughs> so how do people go about really getting your product? And tell me about like if you have dietary concerns, is your sure. product even appropriate? So we are one of the first online bakeries. When I started Dana's Bakery, we were online only. Mm -hmm. So we ship nationwide from our website and we also have a location on the Upper East Side inside Dylan's yeah. Candy Bar, um, their flagship location. So you can get it online, we ship everywhere. Um, you can get it in New York City or our headquarters in New Jersey where we make everything. Um, if you have dietary restrictions, you know we are gluten free, 100% gluten free, and we are kosher. So it took me two years to develop the cookie recipe for gluten-free. Wow. Um, macaroons by nature are gluten-free, but we decided to use gluten-free products when developing our different flavor profiles. I want to play a game with you okay. called Hustle Time. I love the hustle. I'm ready. I'm I ready. I know that you're a competitor, and I know that you're going to want to get through as many cards as possible. Yeah. Go ahead and give them a shuffle. Okay. Feel the cards. What we're going to do is set a timer for 60 seconds. I'm going to read fast, and we're going to see how many cards you can get through in 60 seconds. Okay. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Don't overthink it. Okay. Just have fun. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. It's, it's going to be great. Okay. Okay. So, team, may I please have 60 seconds on the clock? Okay. We're set? Okay, tell me when. Dream dinner guest. Oh, man. Um, Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna have to say uh, Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden. Best place you've traveled? Best place I've traveled, this is so boring, LA. But I love LA. Favorite New York City tourist attraction? Um, Central Park. What's the first app you open in the morning? Instagram. Would you rather never be able to teach or mentor or never be able to learn? Oh, I would always want to learn. Um, how would your mother describe you? Amazing. Number one guilty pleasure? Um, Smutty romance novels. One word you wish you could take away from the English language? Oh God. Pass. Favorite workout? I do um, SLT in the mornings. Boozy brunch or morning workout? Boozy brunch. What is your favorite word? The F word. <laughs> Willy Wonka, Gene Wilder or Johnny Depp? Oh, Gene Wilder. Biggest splurge? Mmm, shopping. Sour candy or sweet candy? Sour. Karaoke is about talent or commitment? Hi. But what is it? First of all, I live for karaoke, <laughs> and it's about commitment. Yay! I'm, I know. I am counting that one. I am counting that one. Well, if I give you the karaoke commitment at the buzzer, you got 15. You got okay. 14 before the buzzer. That, that's pretty great. What, what is your favorite song to sing when you do karaoke? Um, I like Lita Ford, Kiss Me Deadly. Oh. I'm not going to do it for you, I but I like that song. <laughs> So this next part is fun. We ask everybody the same set of questions. Okay. Favorite part of your day? Favorite part of my day, coming home and seeing my fam. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Best, this is going to sound cliche, but you have to trust your gut. You have to trust your gut, because if you don't, it'll always go the wrong way. How do you use your career to inspire others? So I use my career to inspire others by showing people that they can do it. I didn't go to business school. Right. Um, or, or baking school at the start, right? right? Right, right. So I had a lot of people that were against what I was doing and thought I was crazy. So I find a lot of people um, have a passion, but they're too scared to go out and do what they want to do. And I say just do it because worst case, if, you, if it doesn't work, at least you tried. You never know. Yeah. And, and you know you tried. Right. Yeah. Girl, seriously, I love that. Have you ever felt like walking away? Yes, whenever something goes wrong, <laughs> you wanna walk away. When you're the boss, 
Um, no one else is going to fix those problems for you, but when you stay mm -hmm. and you figure it out, it makes you that much stronger, and then you have another notch on your belt. You feel like you can handle anything. One thing you still need to learn. Balance and taking good care of myself, getting sleep. That's what's so important and I don't do enough of it. What do you want people to learn from you? I want people to learn from me that dedication, hard work, and the hustle really do pay off. What's next for you? Lots of things. It's under wraps, but I promise you, you'll find out soon. Will you, will yeah. you follow up with me? I will, I promise. I love that. Um, who inspires you? I'm inspired by anyone who thinks outside the box and puts their own spin on things because it is such um, the foundation that I built my business on. So anyone that's really getting after it and doing what they love and making it theirs, um, I'm really inspired by. It's really easy to do what everyone else is doing, but it's really unique um, to make it your own. Who challenges you? Myself. Myself and my employees. <laughs> my employees sometimes, which I love. Um, you know, it, it takes a teamwork to make the dream work, and I have a lot of really great employees. But I would say that that's been one of the most challenging things for me, is learning how to be a good leader and a good boss, being fair, but also getting the job done the right way. So that's been one of my biggest learning lessons and challenges, and, and usually the most rewarding. We let everybody know you were coming, and we got a lot of great questions coming in from social. Awesome. I picked three. Okay. Okay? The first one comes from somebody who I think you know. Um, it's living that lush life. <gasps> yes, I know very well. She sent us really cute candles. I love that. So here, here is um, okay. her question. Best advice for starting small business owners and how to grab social media attention? Yep. So social media really helped grow our business and it's a free platform. So I always say make your, your photos stand out, separate yourself from everyone else and use the, the free tools that you have to help you grow. I engage in, in, in chat with everyone, I love it. So that would be my... That would be so, my so great content, but great listen content. and engage and build that relationship. Yeah, it's right. all about the relationship. Fantastic. Megan asks, how did you fund your startup? How did you get investors if you had any to see your vision? I actually do not have any investors um, or partners. I started with my small little nest egg that I saved from um, being a photo editor. And everything, I was just really frugal. And I bootstrapped. And everything that I made, I put back into the business to grow. We have one last question. It comes from a very, very important GoDaddy employee named Noodle. Right. Love Noodle. Big fan. Here he is. Big fan of Noodle. <laughs> Do you want him? Can I put him I on I want your him. Here you go. Hi, Noodle. So, so Noodle, um, you know, has a birthday coming up around the corner, and he wants to have a nice big birthday celebration with friends. And what I'm wondering is, um, first of all, can, can Noodle is Noodle even able to eat your cookies? And I'm also wondering, um, what is the best way for Noodle to celebrate his birthday with friends? What is the best dessert to put on the table? How okay. do you make that birthday really special? Okay, well, I think that any birthday of Noodles is gonna be special, number one. <laughs> um, totally. Yeah, so I would say you just have to put stuff out that you know you're gonna like. So for me, that's pizza and that's dessert. So we have to get Noodle some birthday cake, maybe some pizza for his friends. And I have a special treat for Noodle today. I have a peanut butter and jelly macaroon for Noodle. And Noodle, if you like it, maybe I'll send some for you and your friends at your birthday party. So this is pet friendly. So there's no chocolate in the one that I'm giving Noodle. The macaroons are just made from almond flour. So you can squeeze out a little peanut butter and let's see if Noodle likes it. Noodle approved. <laughs> Noodle approved. Well, there you go, Noodle. You are on your way to having the best birthday ever. Okay, this next piece kind of for me is like the fortune cookie of the interview. Oh, where you know when you break fun. up a fortune yes. cookie and there's like a message that leaves you with that thought? That's the best part of the Yes, book. exactly. Yeah. So I want us to leave with a final thought. So what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to read three quotes to you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell me which of the quotes resonates most with you. Okay. Okay? Ready. One, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. Mm -hmm. Two, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. 
And three, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Oh man, I would say two and three because yeah. they all have so much to do with that entre entrepreneurial spirit and not giving up and really just, you know, to keep on trucking to your end destination, which by the way, there's never an end destination. There's not. You ask anybody who owns their own business and they always say, you know, what's next? I wake up thinking, what's next? Um, but you wanna keep on the journey. So two and three, can I pick two? You can pick two. Okay, two and three. I really enjoyed talking to you today. Thank you so much for having me. It's I, great to be here. I'm really, really happy that I met you and that we all get to share your story with everybody. And, and I hope everybody en enjoyed this as much as I did. We bring School of Hustle out every Wednesday. Um, full episodes on Instagram TV, YouTube, Facebook premiere. We're sharing teasers on LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. There's more to be had. So check out Dana's Bakery. Follow GoDaddy across social so you don't miss out on fabulous inspiration like this. And we'll see you all soon. Yeah.